Hi everybody! So I thought I would show you my nighttime and my daytime skincare regime uh, simply because when I tried to do it on Facebook the other night the connection wasn't brilliant so I thought I'll video it and then I'll upload the video and you can watch that back at your leisure. So I've got my PJs on, here I am, nighttime. Hair tied back just to keep it out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is use the smoothing cleanser. I kind of do my skincare in two parts if you like. So I have like the wet bit in my bathroom, then I go do the dry bit by the dressing table. So just bear with me. So again, the smoothing cleanser, this comes in unscented or scented. Um, if you had particularly sensitive skin, the essential oils are the things that tend to react if anything's going to go. So if you have very sensitive skin, I would recommend the unscented version. This is our bestseller really really good product so you need to apply two to four pumps i use two pumps i do this every morning and every night religiously my skin has never looked so good so two to four pumps total dry face rub the cleanser into my hands and then oh i just love this smell rub it all over the face and neck like so and if i was wearing makeup you can go right into your eyes there. Apparently you have to be a bit careful if you have uh, false lashes on because it's oil based and you have to avoid oil bases. But having said that, lots of my friends with false eyelashes use Tropic with no problem whatsoever. So I've rubbed that in there. If I had makeup on, I'd cleanse it the once to remove the makeup, but then I cleanse it twice because then the second cleanse actually cleans your skin. That's the one that will help to Get rid of all the impurities and grime that you've picked up during the day. And then this beautiful bamboo cloth, which you always get with your cleansers anyway. All I've done is I've put that into really hot water in my sink. That feels so refreshing. So my face feels lovely and clean. Really nice and fresh, but it doesn't feel tight or dry at all. It just feels lovely and wonderfully soft and, and um, a bit elastic -y. I don't know. There you go. I just love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. So that's my smoothing cleanser, which I'm only doing the once because I haven't had makeup on today. I do enjoy my, way, my makeup. I just haven't worn it tons. Now, the next thing I use is clear skin. You can see how much I like this clear skin. This, in the top of it, if I show you, has got like a little well in it. If you can see that well, I've already got it filled up because... What you do, you tip it upside down, a couple of slaps on its bum, turn it over, then open the lid, and then you put the product into your hand. So it's a powder, it's called Clear Skies, and it's exceptionally good if you if your skin tends to go onto the oily side, um, which mine does. I've always, I've always had oily skin. So this is going to be a second cleanser, and all I'm doing with this white powder is I'm adding a few drops of water, and it turns it a slightly blue shade and it's a little bit of heat it's slightly exothermic so it gives it a tiny bit of heat and you basically just put the water until it gets to a nice creamy consistency you can see it's turning to a real cream there and again i'm putting that all over my face i don't have to worry about avoiding my eyes doing it on my neck because it's all good natural ingredients and again i rub that in Applying it all over. That, if anything, I would say that feels slightly clay, like it's got clay in it. And again, you just wipe that away with your bamboo cloth. Again, I'm using nice warm water. I'd normally have my tap run in and get nice fresh water, but just because I don't want to drown myself out with the sound of a tap running, I'm not doing that. So again, my face now is like doubly clean, as it were. The good thing about Clear Skies is it removes the excess sebum, helps to regulate the actual sebum, amount of sebum in your skin. But it doesn't dry it at all. It's not at all drying. But my face, I'm trying to see if you can hear. You can't hear my fingers. My face is actually squeaky clean. And it just feels really, really wonderfully fresh. So again, I've put the Clear Skies on. 
could splash my face with cold water now, which helps to reduce the size of the pores because the heat has obviously opened up the size of the pores to try and get rid of all the dirt and grime and impurities. Um, I won't do that again just because of the noise on the video, but a few splashes of really cold water just helps to tighten up those pores. The next thing I do, I'm still in the bathroom, got my vitamin toner, give it a shake. This vitamin toner is got so many uses and it's probably the one thing that people don't bother with but they really should because this prepares your skin for the next thing so it helps to balance the ph of your skin so again it's a beautiful it's smelling mist now i spray i don't know half a dozen or so sprays of it i absolutely love this and again that comes in scented or unscented i like the smell of both of them the scented one smells slightly more rose-like um, with the extracts in there. The unscented one is more cucumberish, I think. I actually quite like both of them, whichever. So I've just patted that into my skin. You don't have to do that, but a couple of sprays, that's really, really refreshing as well. If you're just feeling a bit hot, got a bit of a temperature, it's brilliant for that and sunburn and everything else. So that's basically done the wet part of my skincare. So it's taken a little while because I've been chatting at the same time, but I'm going to move now and go on to my dressing table and then I'll show you the other half. Okay, bear with me. Okay guys, so here I am ready for my dry part of my skincare. So again, I'm getting ready for bed, so this is going to be my nighttime routine. And this is my personal routine. Obviously, depending on your skin type will depend what you do. And I am lucky that I get to play with all the Topic products because I sell them. Um, because when you sell Topic, you do get your products cheaper, which is brilliant for a Topic addict like me. So first thing I do, I have this little pot of wonder. This is called Eye Dream. And this, you just dab on underneath the eyes and I also do a little bit around the eyes and this is like a balm it's quite um a vaseline -y kind of balm but not not horrible um and again I've been told that the skin above the top lip is very similar to the skin underneath your eyes and as you get older which some of you will come across this you'll start to get the old lady lines around your lips like that so i put my eye dream on there as well oh and i was going to show you the color of it there you go so it's a nice like bluey color very much like the blue skies so i've put my eye dream on the next product that i absolutely love i go for fruit peel again fruit peel can help to even out complexions it can help reduce the sign of pores what it is it's just if it's a nice clear liquid two i almost say two or three drops i tend to just whack half a pipette in there and this is um, an exfoliator. So again, I put it all over, not into the eyes because I don't want to exfoliate my eyes, but I go around my eyes, my nose, on my forehead. And this is like a fruit peel, <laughs> hence why it's called fruit peel. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells like a sweet shop. Um, so I put that on on a night because it's a serum that will be the next thing I put on after my toner. Remember, I've done my double cleanse and my tone. So now I'm going with my fruit peel. I think that's one of the most unsung heroes. I absolutely adore that serum. Next thing I'm going to put on is my skin dream. So I've done my eye dream for your eyes and now skin dream. Skin dream. This is a really nice Oh, it's a heavy duty nighttime moisturizer it's absolutely beautiful again it's got a slight blue color to it that's for all the spirulina and malachite extracts that are in there and i put that all over now i have to admit because i have very oily skin i used to never moisturize because i thought moisture equals oil it doesn't everybody needs to moisturize it's the one thing that will stop you going wrinkly before your time and I like to think at my age I'm not too wrinkly as yet so again treat your neck as an extension of your face and I've put on there my skin dream now again the fruit peel and the skin dream those are options that you can add on to your skincare selection they're 42 pounds each but if you buy the whole skincare selection you get one of your skincare treatments for free. Now, again, because I've used Tropic for a long time, another one that I absolutely love, Super Greens. This can be used daytime, nighttime. The fruit peels more for overnight. You wouldn't pop that on during the day. So here's the Super Greens. 
two or three drops of that on your palm. Now, because this is an oil, this goes on top of moisturiser. The idea is with oils, they go on after moisturisers because as they're sinking into the dermis, they will actually take the um, moisturiser down with them. So basically, it, it makes your moisturiser go into the deeper levels of the skin. So again, I've put super greens. I actually really like this smell now. It does take a while getting used to. And no, you don't smell like this when you've got it on. It's just that when you first put it on, it's very botanical. It's got the green coffee in there and the kale and all your good food that's going to feed your skin. And that's basically it, guys. The only other thing I might possibly do, I have my little tower here with me now, my Tropic Tower, is a little bit of lip love on my lips. Again, keeping everything really well moisturised. And the little tip that I've found lately, because my hands are quite oily now because I've had the super greens on there, I've started rubbing my nails in the palm of my hands just when I've finished off my skincare. Obviously, you want to put you can put super greens anywhere, it doesn't make a difference. But my nails are amazing. Trust me, I, I never have nails. Never. Um, and I'm just, it's the only thing I can think I've done. Anyway, thank you. I've wobbled on too much. Um, any questions, even if it's ages after and you're watching on replay or something, by all means, let me know the questions and I will answer you. So before I go, I'm just going to turn around because the lighting wasn't particularly good. But there you go. So can you see there? My skin is looking pretty healthy. Okay, so there's my nighttime routine and in the morning I'll show you my daytime routine. Okay guys, see you later, bye!